frankly, Charles, there are n a number of cities in the same predicament uh, or hanging on the brink. That's why, by instinct and for political reasons, the administration would like to help Detroit um, because, you know, it's a union town, it's a democratic town. There's a sense in Detroit um, uh, that it's sort of owed to them in some sense. Uh, we, we heard that from a city council woman a few years ago. But the problem is that the, gov the administration understands that if it establishes a precedent here, it's going to be a disaster. There are a hundred other cities um, in debt that understand that they can't sustain the promises, the pensions, the health care that they had promised in the past. And once you set a precedent with Detroit, it opens the floodgates and there's no, and a lot of them are democratic cities, of course. So in the end, the administration understands they can't do anything that will look like a bailout, that, that will involve cash. So I think that's right. The word will never be used and the cash isn't going to be appropriated. However, they are looking to find the dozens of ways in which you can do it in a way in which sort of it's a non-cash substitute. For example, you, you know, suspension of a lifting of the taxes, a moratorium. You call it enterprise zone or whatever. There are ways to funnel the money in to say support the pensioners who won't be getting the pension in ways that will not look like a bailout. And I'm sure we're going to hear about these one after another. When you heard Jay Carney say, we're going to give assistance but not a bailout, that's exactly what they're working on right now. Sure, but if, let's say, that's set up, enterprise zones or lifting of taxes, that is coming out of some taxpayer money. Absolutely. It's going to be a sleight of hand. It's going to be how much can we transfer indirectly in a way that will not look like a bailout. In the